June 2025, seven Batwing shadows slice through Iranian airspace at 50,000 feet. No radar picks them up. No missiles lock on. No alarms sound. 14 bunker buster bombs rain down on Iran's most protected nuclear facilities. Mission accomplished. Not a single shot fired back. Meanwhile, Russia's newest ES-400 systems sit silent, useless against an invisible threat they can't even detect. China watches nervously. They're racing to build something similar, but they're decades behind. One aircraft, one capability, zero competition worldwide, and America's had it for over 30 years. The B-2 Spirit isn't just another bomber. It's the only operational stealth bomber on planet Earth. While adversaries scramble to catch up, this flying wing continues proving why American air power remains unmatched. Today, we're breaking down exactly what makes this aircraft untouchable and why neither Russia nor China can counter it. Welcome to Jet Insight. Today, you're getting the full story on why this aircraft gives America an advantage nobody else can match. The Untouchable Ghost Let's talk about what happened in Iran. Seven B-2 bombers took off from Missouri. They flew for 18 hours straight, covering 7,000 miles. They penetrated some of the world's most sophisticated air defenses, Russian-made S-400 systems designed specifically to shoot down stealth aircraft were supposedly protecting those nuclear sites. The result? Complete success. Zero American losses. The Pentagon confirmed that Iranian forces never even fired a shot. Think about that. The most advanced Russian air defense technology sitting right there, and it couldn't touch these bombers. This wasn't luck. This was three decades of American stealth technology doing exactly what it was designed to do. The B-2 carries 40,000 pounds of weapons. That's 20 tons of precision-guided destruction. It can drop 8,500-pound smart bombs in a single run, or carry 16 nuclear weapons if needed. But here's the kicker. It's the only aircraft in the world capable of carrying the GBU-57 Massive Ordnance Penetrator. That's a 30,000-pound bunker buster designed to destroy the deepest, most hardened underground facilities. Iran found out firsthand what that means. If you're proud of what our military can accomplish, type PROUD in the comments below. The stealth technology isn't just paint and angles. The entire aircraft was designed from scratch as a flying wing. No tail, no fuselage, just pure aerodynamic efficiency combined with radar-defeating geometry. Every surface, every curve, Every material was chosen to make this bomber invisible to enemy radar. The special coating absorbs radar waves instead of reflecting them. The shape deflects what little does bounce back in directions away from enemy receivers. But it's not just radar stealth. The B-2 suppresses infrared signatures, acoustic noise, and even visual detection. Multiple systems working together create an aircraft that's nearly impossible to track. Enemy radar operators see nothing. Infrared sensors detect no heat signature worth investigating. By the time anyone realizes a B-2 is overhead, the bombs are already falling, what Russia and China don't have. Before we dive deeper, please take a second to like this video and subscribe. Over 98% of viewers watch without subscribing. It costs you nothing, but it means a lot to us. Russia's been talking about their PAKDA stealth bomber for years. They claim it'll match American capabilities. They say production starts in 2027. But here's reality. Russia doesn't have a single operational stealth bomber today. Not one. They're still flying two 160 Blackjacks from the Cold War era. Those are impressive aircraft, sure, but they're not stealthy. They show up on radar like Christmas trees. The PAKDA program started over a decade ago. Progress has been slow. Very slow. Russia's struggling with the same technological challenges they've always faced. Building true stealth requires materials science, manufacturing precision, and computer technology, where America leads by a generation. Russia's previous attempt at stealth, the Su-57 fighter, underperformed dramatically. The radar cross-section was nowhere near Western standards. If they can't make a fighter truly stealthy, building a bomber is exponentially harder. The war in Ukraine exposed another problem. Russia's burning through military hardware and budget at an unsustainable rate. Tanks, artillery, ammunition, manpower. Everything's being thrown into that conflict. Meanwhile, the PAKDA sits on drawing boards, unfunded and unfinished. Even if they complete a prototype, mass production remains years away. 
Intelligence assessments suggest they're further along than China, but that's not saying much. China's situation is similar, but different. Their H-20 program aims to create a strategic stealth bomber with intercontinental range. Defense Department estimates put the H-20's range at around 5,500 miles, carrying 10 tons of ordnance. On paper, that sounds threatening. In reality, it's still in development with no operational aircraft flying. American intelligence officials who've studied Chinese stealth technology remain unimpressed. One assessment stated bluntly that the HI-20's design is probably nowhere near as good as U.S. low observable platforms. China's struggled for decades to build reliable jet engines. Stealth bombers need engines with low thermal signatures and minimal acoustic noise. China's engine technology lags significantly behind American standards. The H-20 faces another challenge. Advanced radar-absorbing materials and composites require sophisticated manufacturing capabilities. China can produce quantity, but quality remains questionable. Mass-producing stealth coatings that actually work, that hold up under combat conditions, that can be maintained by regular maintenance crews, that's a completely different engineering challenge. Here's the bottom line. As of November 2025, America remains the only nation flying operational stealth bombers. The B-2 has been doing this successfully since 1997. Neither Russia nor China has anything comparable in service. They're trying absolutely, but trying and succeeding are very different things. Combat Proven Excellence The B-2's operational record speaks volumes. First combat deployment came during Operation Allied Force in 1999. B-2s flying from Missouri struck targets in Serbia and Kosovo. They destroyed 33% of all Serbian targets in the first eight weeks, flying just 1% of total sorties. That's incredible efficiency. Then came Afghanistan in 2001. Operation Enduring Freedom saw B-2s flying some of the longest combat missions ever recorded. One bomber flew a 44-hour mission. Think about that, 44 hours airborne. The crew flew from Missouri to Afghanistan and back, conducting strikes along the way. The Taliban never knew what hit them. These bombers appeared unannounced, dropped precision weapons on target, and vanished before anyone could respond. Iraq in 2003 saw similar success. B-2S completed their first ever forward deployment into an actual combat zone. They struck high-value targets deep inside Iraqi territory, while conventional forces pushed in from Kuwait. The combination of stealth penetration and conventional ground assault overwhelmed Iraqi defenses completely. Fast forward to 2024. Yemen's Houthi militants learned the hard way about American reach. Five underground weapons storage facilities, hardened bunkers built to withstand conventional attacks, were obliterated by B-2 strikes in October. The bombers staged from Australia, flew thousands of miles, struck with precision, and returned safely. The Houthis had no answer. Every single combat deployment reinforces the same lesson. The B-2 can strike anywhere, anytime, against any target, and adversaries can't stop it. That's not propaganda. That's documented combat history spanning over 25 years. No other nation possesses this capability. Not one. The September 2025 anti-ship test added another dimension. A B-2 successfully employed the Quicksync Maritime Weapon System against a target in the Norwegian Sea. The bomber sank the target using precision-guided munitions, specifically designed for maritime strikes. This demonstrates incredible versatility. The same aircraft that destroys hardened bunkers can now sink warships. Imagine what that means strategically. Chinese naval forces operating in the Pacific now face a threat they can't defend against. A B-2 could appear without warning, sink capital ships, and disappear before defensive systems even react. Russia's northern fleet faces the same problem. No Navy wants to operate knowing invisible bombers could strike at any moment. The Technology Edge Understanding why the B-2 remains unmatched requires looking at the technology. This isn't one innovation. It's hundreds working together seamlessly. The flying wing design eliminates vertical surfaces. Traditional aircraft have tails and rudders sticking up. Those surfaces reflect radar beautifully, making planes easy to detect. The B-2 has none. Everything smooth and horizontal. Radar waves hitting the aircraft bounce away at angles, never returning to enemy receivers. Composite materials make up much of the airframe. These aren't standard aluminum and steel. We're talking specialized composites designed specifically for radar absorption. 
The exact composition remains classified, but the effectiveness is proven. These materials absorb electromagnetic energy instead of reflecting it. The engines sit buried inside the wing. Air intakes are carefully shaped to prevent radar from seeing compressor blades. Exhaust ports are designed to minimize infrared signature. Even the engine noise is suppressed through careful acoustic engineering. Every detail matters when you're trying to remain invisible. Upgrades continue making the B-2 more capable. Recent additions include defensive management systems that detect enemy radar and show crews exactly where threats are located. This lets pilots route around danger zones or minimize exposure when penetration is necessary. The computers processing this information are generations ahead of what existed when the B-2 first flew. Weapons integration keeps advancing too. The B-2 started with gravity bombs and early GPS-guided munitions. Now it carries the latest precision weapons, including those massive 30,000-pound bunker busters. New weapons get integrated regularly, keeping the bomber relevant against evolving threats. Communication systems allow B-2s to operate as part of a broader network. They can share targeting data with other aircraft, receive updated intelligence mid-mission, and coordinate strikes with ground forces. This network-centric warfare capability transforms the bomber from an isolated platform into part of a larger system. The Air Force continues upgrading these systems. Advanced avionics packages, shamis, improved sensors, better electronic warfare equipment. The B-2 flying today is far more capable than the aircraft delivered in 1997. Continuous modernization ensures this bomber remains effective against Chinese HQ-9 missiles, Russian S-400 and S-500 systems, and whatever new threats emerge. Some experts questioned whether advancing air defenses would eventually defeat stealth technology. The Iran mission answered that question definitively. 35 years after the B-2's first flight, it still penetrates the most sophisticated defenses without breaking a sweat. The technology works, and it keeps getting better. Strategic Implications Having the world's only operational stealth bomber fleet creates enormous strategic advantages. Deterrence starts with capability. Adversaries know American bombers can strike anywhere, anytime. That knowledge affects their decision-making. China watches B-2 operations closely. They see these bombers operating from Missouri, striking targets 7,000 miles away, then returning home. They understand their coastal facilities, inland military bases, and naval forces all sit within range. The H-20 program exists precisely because China recognizes this vulnerability. Until they field their own stealth bomber, if they ever do, America maintains a critical edge. Russia faces similar calculations. NATO doesn't need bases right on Russia's border when B-2s can strike from halfway around the world. Forward deployment becomes optional rather than necessary. This complicates Russian defense planning enormously. They can't concentrate air defenses because threats could come from any direction. Nuclear deterrence benefits from stealth bombers too. America's nuclear triad consists of land-based missiles, submarine-launched missiles, and bombers. The B-2 makes the bomber leg far more survivable. Traditional bombers might get shot down penetrating enemy airspace. B-2S don't face that problem. They can deliver nuclear weapons if ever necessary, while maintaining a credible chance of survival. Conventional strikes matter just as much. High-value targets deep inside enemy territory become vulnerable. Command bunkers, weapons production facilities, critical infrastructure, leadership compounds. The B-2 can reach them all. This capability gives American commanders options other nations simply don't have. For military veterans and enthusiasts who appreciate what American forces can accomplish, the B-2 represents decades of dedication paying off. Engineers, pilots, maintenance crews, strategists, they all contributed to making this capability real. The result is an aircraft that's protected American interests and allies for over a quarter century. Allied nations benefit too. South Korea, Japan, Australia, European NATO members all gain security from American stealth bomber capabilities. The B-2 extends America's protective umbrella across the globe. Adversaries think twice before threatening U.S. Allies when they know retaliation could come from an unstoppable platform. The limited fleet size does create challenges. Only 19 operational aircraft means maintenance schedules matter enormously. If several bombers are down for upgrades or repairs, the available force shrinks quickly. Large-scale operations requiring dozens of bombers aren't possible. This limitation exists 
because Congress cut production from the planned 132 aircraft down to just 21 due to budget pressures after the Cold War ended. Despite small numbers, the B-2 fleet remains incredibly capable. 19 aircraft, properly maintained and employed, can accomplish missions no other force can match. Quality matters more than quantity when you're talking about platforms this advanced. Looking forward, the B-21 Raider represents the future. Northrop Grumman is building America's next generation stealth bomber right now. First flight already happened. Production is ramping up. The Air Force plans to acquire at least 100 B-21s, creating a much larger stealth bomber fleet than currently exists. The B-21 takes everything the B-20 does well and improves it. More advanced stealth, better sensors, easier maintenance, lower operating costs. The flying wing design continues, but with three decades of additional technology incorporated. The Raider will eventually replace both the B-2 and the aging B-1 bomber fleet. Until then, the B-2 keeps flying. Current plans call for these aircraft to remain operational into the 2030s. Continuous upgrades ensure they stay relevant against emerging threats. The Spirit has plenty of life left, and it'll keep demonstrating American air power superiority for years to come. Russia and China will keep trying to field their own stealth bombers. Maybe they'll eventually succeed, but success means more than just building an aircraft that looks stealthy. It requires proven combat capability, reliable maintenance, trained crews, and integration with broader military operations. America's been doing this successfully since 1997. The competition is starting from scratch. Even if Russia completes the PAKDA or China fields the H-20, They'll be competing against the B-21, not the B-2. American technology keeps advancing. The gap doesn't close because both sides are moving forward. America's multi-decade head start in stealth technology, combat experience, and industrial capability maintains the advantage. This matters because air power often determines military outcomes. Control of the skies enables everything else. Ground forces can't maneuver freely under enemy air superiority. Navies become vulnerable without air cover. Strategic targets remain at risk when adversaries can strike from the air. The B-2 gives America an asymmetric advantage in the air domain that shapes entire conflicts before they begin. Conclusion One aircraft, one capability, zero competition. That's the B-2 Spirit Bomber in 2025. While Russia and China scramble to catch up, America's stealth bombers continue proving their worth in real combat operations. From Serbia to Afghanistan, Iraq to Iran, these incredible machines deliver results nobody else can match. The advantage is clear, the technology is proven, and American air power remains untouchable. If you enjoyed learning about what makes the B-2 special, hit that like button and subscribe to Jet Insight for more military content you won't find anywhere else. Thanks for watching.